my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig sent to me from hergivenhair.com. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So the name of the wig that I was sent is in the style HBW IG14. This is a streaky, coily headband wig. The hair texture is coily, which mimics a 3C to 4A curl pattern. The hair length is 18 inches. The cap size is medium. This is a kinky, curly headband wig that has ombre colored ends. The specs on this wig is that it is a beginner friendly and ready to go wig. You can style it in under one minute. It is a full protective style and you do not have to wear any of your edges or leave out out at all. You don't have to worry about your hairline because the headband does completely cover your hairline. But if you do want the wig to look a little bit more natural, you can move the headband further back to expose your hairline or your baby hairs. So when I took this gorgeous wig out of the package, I did want to try something a little bit new. This is the first time I've ever tried it, but the idea popped in my mind. So I had to try it. I had to do a video on it. So I basically wanted to add baby hairs to my wig. So I got a row of tracks. I measured it on the left and right sides of the back of the headband. And I basically started to hand sew it. And then I used my sewing machine to go over it fully. I cut it down. Then I used my perm rods to curl uh, those baby hairs in the back. I don't know how this is gonna come out, but I have good hopes, high hopes for this. I have a very low hairline in the back, so when I do wear certain hairstyles with headband wigs, my kitchen naps in the back are exposed, honey, and nobody got time for all that. So if I can cover my kitchen naps, but also have some type of baby hairs in the back, and make it look super natural. I think that was like a genius idea that I came up with. So after I sewed the tracks on the uh, headband itself, I ended up co-washing this hair. After co-washing the hair, I did grab my new brush that I just got from DimmonBrush.com. And basically this new brush is specifically formulated to detangle and define the curls of very tightly coiled and kinky curly hair. it did do a really good job at defining the curls and detangling the hair. So I'm still on the fence about that brush. I don't know if it's a must have to run out and go get it, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all an update once I use it again. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into styling this hair. For the first style, I am basically going to put the wig on and style it in the first style within a minute or under a minute. So I'm grabbing my phone and I'm just gonna turn the timer on and see what I come up with. Just gonna take the Velcro off. Of course, just put this on my head. <laughs> put this on my head. Tighten the Velcro in the back. It's not really fair because I did not get a chance to take these off without the timer, but let me just take the rollers out. All right, all the rollers are out. This is me styling my wig. I'll pick the roots a little bit. It still hasn't even been a minute, y'all. So headband wigs are literally what they say, ready to be worn out of the package. And just because I'm just gonna add a headband to it, still hasn't been a minute yet. The fit of this headband wig is perfect. It's not too tight, it's not too big, it doesn't feel like it's about to fly off. Just gonna do a high bun so we can see how these baby hairs came out. Mm -hmm. 
well. My Nate Baby Hairs definitely cover my low hairline, so I am happy about that. I do want to experiment with using tighter rollers because I feel like these rollers are a little looser and the hair texture is tighter. So if I went with a yellow or a red perm rod, I think that it would look even better. But the great thing about natural hair is that we have different textures all the way through. So if you saw me and I had this headband wig on and I have looser uh, curls in the back, you would just think that I have a looser hair texture in the back. You wouldn't just assume I put tracks there, rolled it with perm rods. You would think that it was, you know, part of the look. The puff is super cute and natural looking. This definitely looks like it could be my hair. I love it. I'm gonna show you guys the hair texture outside as well. I am also going to put this headband on. And this is more of a tube. This isn't a headband, but this is, it has their name on it, her giving hair right here. So this is something that they personally made. So I'm just going to, Oh, you can wear it as a headband if you want to, but I'm gonna wear it as a tube like this. This is the perfect protective style too, or like just going to sleep if you wanna protect your hairstyle or preserve your curls. All right, so I'm gonna try something different. In one of my previous headband wig videos, I did end up using some adhesive spray to adhere some track hair or some loose hairs down onto my skin because I am trying not to do as much baby hairs to my own natural hair just to let my edges breathe. So I'm just gonna scoot this back a tad bit. And I have the rest of the track hair that I ended up shaving down the baby hairs with. I'm gonna grab it. No tracks on here, just the hair. And I am gonna adhere it down here to create somewhat of a hairline. So let's see if this is about to work. First thing I'm gonna do is just make a little part area here so that the hair could be going on the left and right sides of the part. I'm using some Gorilla Snot to help move these hairs this way. All right, y'all. As you can see, my hairline is gone. It's clean, it's gone. So I need all the help that I can get. I'm gonna spray some of this even adhesive spray to the back of my hand. And I'm gonna grab a portion of this. Use my finger to dab this here. I'm gonna blow dry for a few seconds. Next, I'm gonna fan out this loose hair. Just fan it out a little bit. All right, here goes nothing, y'all. Here goes nothing. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Then I'm gonna put my scarf on and come back and show you guys the results.
Do y'all see the vision? All right, so the moment of truth. So we have a new hairline. Do we have new edges? Do we have new hair? I'm gonna close my eyes, Lord, please let this work. Wait, I need to open my eyes for this, honey. It's here. I have I have a hairline now, y'all. Now my wig is complete. Look, I have a whole lace front. Hey, hey lace front. Well, not lace front because this is my natural scalp. So not a lace front. Now from here, all I would have to do is just add some like eyeshadow or something here to darken it up. Y'all, is this not a lace front wig? Is this not a lace front wig? Is this not my hair? Forget lace front. I'm about to darken this with some mascara. Right here. I should have added the hair closer. Darken it with some mascara. Y'all. Y'all. What is this? Is this not my hair? Is this not my hair? Is this not my hair? What is this? Is she wearing a headband wig or is that her hair? Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Headband wig wear. Hashtag headband wig wear. Like, where is it? Where is the headband wig, y'all? Because this is looking just like my hair. Just like my scalp. Yes, y'all. Love it. Did y'all just see what I did? I don't think you understand how amazing this looks. I don't think you understand how bomb this is. I could do two ponytails with this. I could do my up look. Half up, half down, honey. I can do so much with this. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Are you as obsessed with this final look as I am? I love it. I love it. Give this video a thumbs up if you love the final look. Let's chat all about this wig. Let's chat down below in the comment section. As always, I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to where you can get your hands on this gorgeous headband wig down below in the description box. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.